Thanks, Rizwana. I think uh, let's get it started. Uh, my name is Hari. Yeah. So I'm going to take you for today's interview. Okay. I got your profile from HR. So All right. I think you got the roles and responsibility, everything, right? This role is going to be for PR uh, AWS Cloud, and we are seeking for, you know, uh, addition to that, we are looking for a candidate who can work on uh, DevOps as well. So tools such as, you know, Kubernetes, uh, Terraform, and mm -hmm. so the basic, uh, you know, uh, tools also. So could you please tell me about yourself, uh, the year of experience, and the, what are the technology you have uh, exposure, and what are the different tools you have? Uh, could you please tell me about yourself? Yeah, sure. Yeah, go ahead with your self introduction. I think you are in mute. I believe. So, Raswana, I can't hear you. I think you are in mute. Hello. Hello. Yeah, I think you are on mute. I'm just looking for your uh, self. I'm, 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 I'm really sorry. Yeah, yeah, no problem. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, as you know, uh, yeah, so my name is Rizwana. Uh, I live in uh, Pune, Maharashtra. And if I talk about my experience, I have overall uh, three plus years of experience into DevOps, uh, working with DevOps. So I started uh, in uh, 2019 as an uh, as a DevOps associate, and over the time I got promoted as a DevOps engineer. So um, my day-to-day -day activities include uh, writing Kubernetes manifest file, writing a Docker file for the day-to-day, -day, you know, for uh, for the regular development, and uh, I also write CI/CD pipelines uh, for uh, the deployment process for the automation. And uh, I also have experience working with AWS since uh, our cluster is completely on uh, cloud-based cluster. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's good. I'm also good. responsible for, uh, look, you know, uh, a log, you know, monitoring the Kubernetes cluster using uh, Prometheus and Grafana. So, yeah. Okay. That's good, actually. Uh, thanks for sharing this uh, technical background about you. So let's get started with AWS Cloud first, then slowly we can mm -hmm. move on to Docker and Kubernetes. Then we'll okay. finish it off with uh, GitHub and Grafana kind of stuff, okay? So let me quickly get started with Cloud because Cloud is a fundamental mm -hmm. for everyone, right? So uh, could mm -hmm. you please tell me uh, about your IAM architecture of your current infrastructure? Yeah, so uh, on Cloud, uh, basically uh, we are, uh, the team which I'm working on, I'm responsible to take care of uh, EC2, VPC, and S3, and the other uh, IAM roles and the other uh, components is handled by uh, the uh, different team. So yeah, so I'm not too much uh, involved in that, but uh, yeah, I have uh, an idea of uh, the IAM, like how we set up the roles and how we generate the credentials for the Kubernetes uh, cluster and uh, how to connect uh, AWS with our, uh, you know, uh, with the cluster and all. Okay, fine. So could you please uh, explain me uh, how your uh, current uh, VPC network architecture uh -huh. uh, of your present project and for um, securing your cloud infrastructure, right? What are the key point you are, you know, uh, monitoring and uh, what are the, in the network perspective I'm talking, what are the key point in your present network infrastructure? Could you please brief about that? Yeah, sure. Uh, if I talk about the network and security, uh, if I talk about the network and the, uh, you know, connectivity stuff, then uh, yeah, we are basically, uh, in terms of network, we are using Ingress. Uh, we have uh, ingress setup and uh, if i talk about the vpcs then yeah everything is in a uh, private uh, private network okay so for the exposure of the uh, you can say uh, uh, right now in my project uh, uh, there are uh, microservices 
okay so uh, you know uh, for example you can say uh, let's just say for the front end application which is accessible to the uh, direct user so for those we have a setup of load balancer uh we have uh, so for that uh, first we need to uh, set up the ingress controller then on top of that uh, we set up the uh, load balancer and the ingress rule and stuff other than that for the internal purpose uh, we have everything uh, you know uh, into you can say a private uh, private subnet and uh, secondly it is the through a vpn okay so yeah. i can see from your profile you have exposure with internet gateway and nat gateway and all so could you please tell mm -hmm. me in your uh, current environment uh, which are the mm -hmm. uh, uh, application you are exposing using internet gateway and what are the application you will use nat gateway can you differentiate uh yeah sure so uh, we have uh, like uh, all in all in my project i have uh, all in all uh, nine micro nine i application so for those uh, for the uh, uh, for the uh, uh, you know uh, we are using uh, internet gateways uh, and nat gateways for the uh, testing purpose and uh, yeah okay so fine so i think uh, we can move on to some questions from docker and kubernetes so uh, could you please tell me what is the architecture level difference between docker and kubernetes as per your understanding yeah so if we talk about uh, kubernetes and docker uh, in a way both are same however uh, there is a slight difference but uh, let's just say uh docker and kubernetes both work on containerization both are really helpful in containerizing your application however if i talk about docker uh, docker or docker swarm then uh, the thing is that uh, docker doesn't give us a much exposure of the you can say uh, it doesn't have a lot of exposure for example uh, docker is a default container orchestration tool that uh, comes with docker and uh, you can uh, with using docker uh, you can only uh, you can say orchestrate simple docker containers kubernetes on the other hand uh, we can say helps us in managing much more complex uh, application uh, containers and uh, kubernetes also offers uh, support for uh, larger demand production environment uh, uh, and if i talk about uh, the comparison then uh, you know uh, in docker we cannot do auto scaling on the other hand uh, kubernetes has a feature where we can do auto scaling which uh, is much more automated and uh, docker also doesn't have the feature of uh, graphical user interface that's the ui and uh, yeah we can have a you know a kubernetes dashboard gui as well and uh, there is also one more thing uh, in docker we can do uh, like in the deployment strategy we can uh, deploy rolling updates but you know if you want to reverse that process for example let's say in uh, kubernetes you might have heard about the deployment multiple deployment strategies so in production we generally use uh, rolling updates okay so which uh, you know uh, the process uh, goes like this like it uh, takes down your one container and then it automatically brings up the newer version which you have stated and uh, later on for example let's just say after deploying after updating your application in the kubernetes if you want to uh, go back to the previous version for some reason you think that you know this is not what i wanted and i wanted to switch back to uh, the older version then you can reverse that process but in docker you don't have that thing so that is uh, one difference you can say all in all uh, we are using a docker in our uh, environment for the uh, uh, application uh, like for the development uh, for the application development or you can say for the image creation yeah okay fine very good uh, so coming back to docker uh, file uh, so when you creating your own customized image in docker file mm -hmm. we have a uh, uh, attributes uh, something called uh, cmd and entry point uh, could you please uh, mm -hmm. tell me the difference between these two 
uh, yeah sure so cmd and entry point is something uh, which is uh, like cmd is a command which we uh, specify at the uh, beginning of the uh, you can say when you launch the container so you can run cmd uh, command at the beginning so it goes like this like in cmd we provide a command like if the command needs an attribute let's suppose uh, there is a command that needs other attribute for example there is a sleep command and you want to specify how many second it will sleep let's, let's suppose 5 second so you can uh, pass the attribute using entry point but for the sleep command you have to use cmd only that's one thing and attribute can be modified uh, attribute can be modified using entry point uh, which is passed by the cmd if you want to modify any instruction that is provided by entry point then you'll have to use the hyphen hyphen entry point flag so that's also a different so you can modify the instruction of cmd using entry point but you cannot uh, modify entry point for that you will have to use hyphen hyphen instruction uh, entry point instruction okay so uh, coming to the docker file image creation recently uh, for which application mm -hmm. you wrote your own docker file could you please explain me the use case of that yeah so uh, we have uh, i have uh, i also write docker files for the day to day uh, you know development so uh, you know uh, the other day we were uh, doing uh, we were doing some uh, pocs so for that we have to uh, we had to write uh, docker file for the uh, front end application so i had to you know uh, write the you can say a docker file for that okay that's good yeah. so could you explain me about uh, different uh, deployment strategies in uh, kubernetes yeah sure so in kubernetes we have uh, you can say like uh, in my project uh, i'm using a uh, rolling update uh, as a deployment strategy okay what are the <laughs> different types of uh, deployment strategies available in yeah in general yeah. what are the different types of uh, yeah deployment strategies so in yeah so in kubernetes we have uh, two types of deployment strategy the recreate and uh, uh, rolling update so uh, you can say like the best practice is to use a rolling update as in it provides uh, you can say uh, it is uh, good to use in production uh, because there will be uh, no downtime you can say for that and if we use uh, recreate then it will be like uh, it will take down all of your previous version and then there will be some sort of downtime and then it will uh, update the uh, you know newer version which you want however in uh, rolling update you can say it will take down uh, you know uh, one by one uh, your container will be down and then you can uh, uh, your newer version will be updated and later if you want for example if you want to switch back to your uh, previous version you can also go back into rolling update however you cannot do that in the first uh, first time mm -hmm. okay that's good yeah. so could you please tell me about your uh, uh, ingress uh, process how it works in your current environment and uh, how, what kind of you know uh, ingress rules you are managing uh, in your present uh, kubernetes architecture yeah sure so uh, in our uh, you can say in our uh, uh, in my project for example i'm using uh, in, we are using ingress uh, for the front end application and uh, first we have to uh, like uh, we have to install uh, you can say the uh, we have to have the uh, uh, ingress controller in order to uh, go in order to you can say the set the uh, in order to set up the ingress uh, rule okay and uh, we are using a load balancer on top of our uh, ingress uh, uh, on top of our uh, you know ingress setup so yeah and uh, if i hello yeah yeah go ahead yeah so uh, if i talk about the ingress uh, rules so we have uh, multiple uh, rules set up for ingress so in that uh, uh, we have uh, like uh, 
you can say we have uh, uh, okay, so we deployed that's, that's ingress uh, using yeah yeah that's fine so coming to jenkins uh, what are the recent issue you faced and uh, troubleshooted in your uh, project uh, any jenkins pipeline issue could you please elaborate what is the issue and what is the root cause for that uh, issue yeah in uh, our recent pipeline when i was creating the recent pipeline uh, the uh, recent issue which we faced was uh, uh, yeah, a couple of days back only in my project when we were creating jenkins pipeline we had a issue uh, while uh, you know uh, creating the uh, while uh, creating the docker uh, image we had it so uh, we uh, like we had to go through uh, like uh, multiple uh, you can say uh, like uh, that was the biggest issue recently and uh, so we had to inspect the logs uh, of the jenkins the build logs which we get so uh, we found out that the issue was uh, related to the uh, docker image creation so we had to inspect the uh, file uh, you can say the script which we have created so in that uh, there was a command mis uh, there was a misplace of the command uh, so we had to fix that again and we had to update that again in the uh, github and then uh, we um, tried uh, that uh, uh, new uh, you can say updated script in uh, our pocs first in order to make sure that uh, the uh, you know script is working fine and then uh, we deployed it on uh, our uh, uh, final uh, production okay so what are the different kinds of pipeline you are managing uh, can you explain me about pipeline strategy and uh, what uh, uh, implementation you have done so far yeah so uh, in my project i'm widely using uh, the pipeline uh, jenkins pipeline uh, you can say strategy like there are multiple uh, strategies like um, uh, multi branch maven pipeline and other stuff as well but we are uh, i'm like in my project i'm widely using pipeline so in that uh, we first have to uh, you can say we first have to uh, create the new project we have to add the uh, github uh, link uh, from where the uh, you know jenkins is going to pick up the uh code then uh, uh, we have also uh, created web webhook trigger in order to make sure that if there is any change in the uh, you know in the code or uh, you can say if there is any uh, update which is coming in then we it should uh, get automatically triggered and we don't have to do stuff manually and apart from that uh, you know uh, yeah so that is one thing and yeah we are widely using pipeline script uh, although there are uh, multiple uh, jenkins uh, you know a pipeline uh, method de for deploying the uh, jenkins pipeline for the ci cd uh, we have we did write that in poc but uh, for this specific project uh, we are using this uh, you know um, pipeline script okay so what uh, uh, configuration management tool version control you are using Oh, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, for uh, integrating with Jenkins source code management, uh, what type of you know uh, uh, repository you are managing in your current environment? Yeah. So uh, for uh, configuration management, uh, we are using uh, uh, GitHub. Uh, like uh, for source code, we are using GitHub. And for the deployment, we are using Kubernetes. uh yeah in jenkins we are using for deployment we using kubernetes and uh, for the uh, you know configuration management we using uh, jenkins okay so uh, as i could see you have exposure with the grafana as well can you tell me how yeah. you are utilizing grafana and uh, what is the need in your present infra and what is the process well, yeah. behind uh, sure so uh, for uh, this project uh, we uh, i i personally uh, in this project we have uh, set up uh, prometheus and grafana so you can say like uh, we are using uh, for uh, tracking the metrics we are using prometheus and for the visualization we are using grafana then uh, there is other way also like you can also use prometheus dashboard for the visualization but the best practice is to use grafana since it gives, gives you 
much more clarity about the uh, you know content which you want to monitor and the uh, stuffs which you want to look after so uh, you know uh, for like um, my basic task is to uh, monitor the grafana for example if there is any you know uh, you can say uh, uh, there is any glitch in the cluster like uh, if some issue comes up so we need to make the report or uh, you know if some application or maybe let's just say if some pod is not working or some component in kubernetes is not working so we have to uh, monitor uh, we have to look after the you know logs and everything and then we have to create the email uh, sorry we have to create the report and we have to send it via email uh, to the higher management we can say the client if uh, uh, they also ask for it okay fine rasana totally fine so i'm good with my end uh, so what i'll do i'll uh -huh. just convey my feedback to hr they will get back to you okay all right yeah thank, thank you. you yeah